Hello and thanks for watching UAPB News. I'm Frederick Price. On April 3rd and 4th, students voted for the next Miss UAPB class Queens and Kings and Senate members. The results are as follows. Kimberly Boyd, the next SGA president. Angelica Perkins, Miss 89th UAPB. Kayla Jemerson, Miss Senior. Raven Franklin, Miss Sophomore. Nicodemus Montz, Mr. Sophomore. And J.L. Frierson and Taylor Strain as the Senate. There will be runoffs between Jade West and Brianna Boston for the position of Miss Junior on Tuesday, April 10th from 12 to 4 p.m. in the Student Union. All elected candidates will be inaugurated on April 17th at 4 p.m. In other news, a student at Howard University has been accused of stealing thousands of dollars in financial aid. This has caused a bit of a scare for students attending HBCUs. We spoke with a financial aid advisor on how UAPB handles financial matters and what students should know when preparing for an academic year. Monkevis Edwards has more. There's been an uproar amongst HBCUs over the controversy concerning Howard University student employees being accused of stealing over $400,000 in financial aid. As the cost of attendance for colleges and universities rises year by year, students want to be sure that they are getting their fair share. UAPB encourages students that there is no need to fear as representatives in UAPB's financial aid department are prepared to guide students through the financial aid process. However, there are some things that students should know. Mr. William Smith, the scholarship and work study coordinator, emphasized that students are only allotted the amount of scholarship money that it takes to pay off the cost of attendance. And so if a student's cost of attendance is $25,000, they can only go over that by the amount of pay. So if a student doesn't get a Pell Grant and they have $25,000 worth of loads and scholarships, that's it. UAPB works hard to ensure that students are aware of their financial state while attending the university. One student can attest to her experience so far. Yeah, Miss Cherie, she's pretty nice. Um, I have her number and she has my number, so uh, she contacts me when something's not right. You know, if I have a balance or something, she'll let me know. So. Overall, UAPB wants students to know that their finances are in good hands at the university. I just want them to know that we do everything here to stay within the rules, to be compliant, you know, with all the federal regulations and that their money is definitely safe, you know, in our hands. The 2018-2019 FAFSA is available online for completion. Students are encouraged to apply before the next academic school year. Visit www.fafsa.edu.gov to start an application. In conjunction with National Student Athlete Day, UAPB Student Athlete Advisory Committee is hosting a day for its own on Tuesday, April the 10th. The day will begin with Student Athlete Community Service at Watson Chapel High School, followed by a tailgate at the Torrey Hunter Complex from 11 to 1. In addition to the tailgate, student athletes will be able to enjoy the softball game as well as the baseball action as the Lady Lions take on LSU Alexandria at noon and the Golden Lions play UCA at 1 p.m., the first of its kind here at UAPB. This day is an opportunity to thank our student athletes who represent our university for all of their hard work. It's now time for a look at weather. Chelsea Jackson has more. All right, Palm Bluff, let's take a look at our current temperatures. It's currently 38 degrees and it feels just like 38 degrees. <laughs> this afternoon, you can expect the temperatures to jump up to 63 degrees with the winds at 8 miles per hour. And this evening, temperatures are going to start to drop to 60 degrees. And later on tonight, you can expect the temperatures to be at 52 degrees. In the morning, you'll, you can expect some strong thunderstorms with the temperature at 54 degrees and the winds just at 6 miles per hour. Now. Friday, like I said, it's going to be some thunderstorms and a high of 68 and a low of 53 with the winds at 12 miles per hour. It might just be windy tomorrow. On Friday, you can expect the cool temperatures, a high of 51, low of 37 with the winds at 13 miles per hour. On Sunday, you can expect some sprinkles in the sky with a high of 30. 59 and the low of 35 with the winds at 11 miles per hour and on Monday early sprinkles with the high of 67 and a low of 49 winds not too strong just 9 miles per hour back to you attention Pine Bluff moviegoers there will be a lot of content to watch on the big screen soon the local movie screening of the film it's called life will be held at the Hathaway Howard Fine Arts Auditorium at UAPB on April 7th through the 9th 
Students who come on Sunday may pay $5 with their student ID. The movie starring local actors and actresses, including one of UAPB's mass communications instructors, will also show at the University of Arkansas at Little Rock on April 13th. In addition to this, the Student Film Festival, as a part of Mass Communications Week, will be on Wednesday, April 11th from 4 to 8 p.m. in Caldwell Hall Auditorium. This event will feature student productions. It is both free and open to the public. The Human Sciences Department at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff will host its annual cultural festival on April 17th in the Adair Human Science Auditorium at 6 p.m. The families across cultures, class, and volunteers from multiple organizations on campus will be involved in putting on the celebratory event that will include entertainers, food, a fashion show, and international education. The UAPB Honors Program will also be helping this year. Dr. Jeanette Wheat is the program's director. For more information on how to volunteer, contact Dr. Wheat at 870-575-8805. Well, that's it for this edition of UAPB News. I'm Frederick Price. Take care. Yeah.